this is the plan. I was going to take the chuck off here, but I, I have a parallel MT3 female here. So what I'm going to do is slide that into the fore jaw. We'll true that up. Then we can slide our Morse taper in there. We might actually slide it in there and actually true it up onto the Morse taper itself. And then we've got to be right, and then we can come in and drill a hole and see how we go. This will also be very handy in um, holding it in the mill for you know running a little, running across and dropping the thread in too. Um, I'll be able to clamp this down and keep it parallel. That'll be a good thing. Right, we've got him all bang on zero. Yeah, the needle's not moving at all. So how fast are we going to go? What are we going to wear? One A, two hundred and seventy. Oh, look, that'll be all right for just a drilling a little hole, won't it? It'll help when I turn my lathe on. it up a bit. It is a little bit hard on the end there. But anyway, we'll just grab a drill. We'll change this out of here. We'll go and find a drill. Okay, that's a bit harder than we thought. <coughs> Pardon me. We're having trouble getting a hole drilled up the end of it, so even though it marked easy with the file, but we're going to run a bit of cardboard, uh, cardboard, good, <laughs> carbide over the end, see if it's just um, a bit of hardening on the outside and see how we go.
to temper it yet, eh? <laughs> Still mark it with that file. I'll just check that again. down a little bit we don't need him so long we'll see if we can get right through that his old carbide tips not the best but that's all right Certainly feeling better. We'll drop a bit of a chamfer on there so we don't cut ourselves.
All right, now we'll have another go and see if it's any better. See if we've, it's only case hardened and not all the way. So we'll get rid of that fella. We'll bring the Cutting oil. I might drop the speed out of him a little bit. Still hard on that end there. Right, you can see this magically changed colour. So we've actually taken it out and got him nice and red until the magnet wouldn't talk to him anymore. And um, yeah, let him cool slowly. So we'll see if we've got the temper out or not. Now look, here's something I'd forgot I had. It's a number three Morse taper, and it's a I'd say it's an end mill holder someone's made and it was in a box of stuff I bought one time um, it's got number 21 on it so whoever it was in a metalwork or a shop class um, must have been at bench number 21 so for the 8 mil one that's what we're going to use we'll see how it goes eh? I'd forgotten I had it it's only when I was finding the sleeve for this fella here that I um, I come across it once more so Alright, so we'll see how we go anyway. Put this out of the way. See if there's any difference. help if I tighten this up eh? okay now it's all tempered <laughs> that's a lot better 
I might just run a cut up the outside to tidy him up a little bit. Get rid of the mill scale look. It's a lot better. I should have done that to start with, but anyway, you've got to bug around on a Sunday morning, haven't you? But I must admit, I wasn't expecting it to be that hard. I thought it might have been hard, but not like that. Six mil drill. Pop him in there. Put a bit of possum pee on. See how we go, eh? bit of the front sticking out really because on the on these drills I'm just going to grind a little flat on each of them and then so the screw will go halfway so you can actually go if we go almost to this shoulder here well that still gives us plenty to to get it out if we need to so okay So if we call that zero, give ourselves 
inch, 37 millimeters we can go. Okay. So that's six mil. Now number two is quarter. So there's point three to come out. I thought I would just check with some of the some of the metric end mills end mills. End, end drills I have from Yeah, if they're metric in shaft or they're still quarter. Just down here you can see a pink mark on the ream. I've actually measured it all up and I've drilled it deeper. So when we get the ream down in, this end here will give the give the centre drill tip clearance. So that's not touching, but where it just sits on the cutting land here, that's where the ream shoulder will go. So so that'll determine how far we go in. So we'll just run him up and see. didn't take much out of him. I might just go a little bit deeper with that, I think I'm I just feel better about it. That's good. There's no bulk around here much anymore and it does give us plenty of room here to run a, run a, a screw through and on the on the centre drill here we still have place for the swarf to come out so we're not quite onto that yet. So. Yeah, so if we do a mark and measure Bring that back here, 
that gives us a chance for a small grub screw to hold it all secure. Okay, so that's the job so far. A lot of time we have a little grub screw to hold him in, well that won't um, tie up a chuck and things like that. I can leave a drill or a ream in a chuck and not have to take him in and out and in and out all the time. Ha! <laughs> Bloody lazy, eh? Alright, that'll probably do for this week. And, um, yeah, we'll probably do this bit next week. I've got to tidy the mill up, it's a bit of a mess, and get the vice all crammed in. And all that, so we'll catch up with you later, eh? See ya.